Hello, this is Ian Skye from BBC Radio Derby, and you're watching Meets and Cheats, where every day is a cheat day. Friday, but improving to greater than six miles on Friday morning. What an exciting day it is for us at Meats and Cheats because in case you didn't see from the sign up there, we are at BBC Radio Derby and it's a special day today because it is the 100th birthday of the BBC. What a great time to be here. Now we've been invited onto the radio by the fabulous Ian Sky to discuss all things Meats and Cheats and all of our socials and who are we not to oblige? We've definitely got to get involved with that as these vehicles are going past and the volume of my voice has to go up. <laughs> so we're going to go inside, meet the lovely Ian and we are going to discuss everything that we can possibly think of that is Meats and Cheats based. And I must point out that in this car just over here we met the lovely newsreader Wesley what a guy. We love Wesley. Honestly, he has got the most perfect, silky, sultry voice. He like wound down the window for his car and he was like, are you guys the YouTubers? <laughs> that was my impression of his voice. It was very like, radio he's got some exciting things going on in social media as well which we will put a link in the uh, information below so you can check it out for yourself let's go time of day when we have a nice natter with so I say with somebody I don't think we've <laughs> ever done a couple before two oh. people at once so you're Everyone. breaking new ground good afternoon good afternoon thanks Hi. for having us Mick Bailey and Leela Jackson <laughs> Mick and Leela food bloggers foodies influencers reviewers whatever oh, all label of you want to use uh, they've been doing this for seven years as I understand it on Facebook Instagram now there's the YouTube channel Meats and Sheets described as the food show for regular people with regular budgets exploring the UK trying to experience the best trendiest tastiest and most entertaining food places if it's dirty delicious and divine they'll tackle it <laughs> you could be our hype man that's I amazing that. <laughs> i think your mum's been on mick oh dear uh, <laughs> i can only apologize well i assume so i don't mean that <laughs> um, uh, please delve deeper into why she's not a bailey now they're married so is it's really, a point, it's or? deep isn't it my it's reasons are really deep you're on youtube you're on all the social media yeah. platforms you, you love food eating and drinking and experiencing grub and treat yourself to something special oh yeah getting what's out there meats and cheats as yeah. in you know, meats that you eat, yep. you're not a vegan. Yeah, a lot yeah. of people have mistaken it as a website for extramarital affairs. That's yeah. why so. I wanted to elaborate <laughs> on the spelling. <laughs> so it's cheats, like a book came from cheat day. But I played a clip earlier on from, from your YouTube channel. I think mm. that's from your honeymoon, right? Yeah. Well, it depends which honeymoon you mean, because we've had to rearrange it about six, seven times because of the so word that should not married? be mentioned. Uh, last year, August, last August. Last year, yeah. we got married um, on our fifth rearranged wedding date because of COVID. Doing lunch with Mick and Leela today. They are meats and cheats. They eat stuff and then they film themselves eating it and they say, oh, that's minging, and they put it on YouTube. That's pretty <laughs> much life for you, isn't it? It's yeah. quite the talent. That's yeah. what I know. That's what it says. <laughs> A lot of it, actually, because I was looking for a clip to play earlier on, and it's not just you saying, ooh, nom, 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 nom. that's nice. You know, you, you edit stuff and put music to it and use yeah, clips yeah. of other people and very quite creatively. Ooh. Well, whose expertise is that? Is it uh, you? I handle that, yeah. I uh, Well, we just watch a lot of... I, I'm really into watching things on YouTube. I, I absolutely love it. And we both watch lots of food and travel things. Interesting. Well, you handle TikTok, don't you? Because yeah. I'm too old for TikTok. I'm too old for TikTok. <laughs> but part of my job where I work is actually I used to be the social media manager there. And I've worked in social for about 13 years and it has changed so much. So it used to be so so easy my job was so easy do a little post on facebook boom done now it's so difficult the attention spans are going down everyone's fighting against each other i was saying to you off air one day saw john richardson at the <laughs> buxton opera house on saturday night and he did a whole bit about videos on youtube of children unboxing toys yeah because he's his daughter i mean there's there's some nonsense out there isn't there i mean i actually had a go at the unboxing myself with my ninja turtle figures didn't i but <laughs> We put one seven second video up of me eating a black ice cream 
and it got 39,000 views in four hours. That's and like, it's revolting. <laughs> <laughs> it tasted delicious. What flavour is that? It was like vanilla tonka bean, yeah. but um, yeah, it did look, it looked really bad and it suddenly just turned me into looking like a bit of a goth. But it was a goth weekend in, in Whitby, Whitby, so yeah. yeah. Of course they have black ice cream. <laughs> of course. <laughs> the dream would be, we always said, to be able to travel and eat it because we both love to travel, but um, it's quite expensive to travel. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so we travel around the UK quite a lot, but we we really want to do America. We want to go like some of the big foodie capitals, but mm. we never had a chance. But the dream would be to do- I mean, you can make proper money on YouTube if you get enough people behind you, can't yeah. you? Or would yeah. you rather, you know, get picked up and do a bit of, I don't know. I think, yeah, Netflix I mean like, oh, that, that's just it. We've, we've often said we, we fantasize about it, don't we? We're like, our dream is to have like a Netflix show or something like that, where we just travel the a world. BBC Show. BBC, of course, 100 years birthday, you know. Yeah. <laughs> we love a good burger and we love a good pizza, but some of the burgers we've had, so for example, we've had an ice cream burger. So it's where you have a burger patty and then a deep fried, like square, you know, like old school squares of ice cream, deep fried. You're winning me back, actually. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't it amazing? It was actually really good. You, you would think down on paper that would be the worst idea ever, but a cube of deep fried ice cream. It's got that sweet and salty vibe going on. It had pulled pork and bacon, and and then I felt like I was gonna have a heart attack afterwards, but it was worth it. Mick has an ongoing joke that I won't have um, a drink in a normal glass. Yeah, it has to be in any other receptacle yeah. apart from a glass. Like you could put it in a shoe, yeah. a top hat, Love I don't it. know, yeah, bowling ball. Stolen so many cocktail glasses. <laughs> is that a thing now then? Is that is that like the, the whole period of serving food on anything except a plate? Yeah. yeah, like, you know, they used to do them on slates, didn't they, in the mm. 90s, and everyone yeah. thought it was really sophisticated, but like, yeah. They do them on um, bin lids now, have you seen? There's meat platters on bin lids and butter boards. That's a new, That's a new trend, yeah. <laughs> I like that you know what all the hipster stuff is. But yeah. You, you also do, like, you know, you'll put videos up about shopping at Aldi and that. Yeah, no, of uh, course, yeah. yeah. Like we say, we don't discriminate. We just think, like, all food is good food. Um, <laughs> thank you for coming in. Lovely to meet you. Oh, good you luck. too. Thanks for having uh, us. They are Mick Bailey and Lena Jackson. Look them up. Meats and Cheats. Jackson, I've just been on the radio. You might have heard these tones on BBC Radio Derby. What a day! Ian was lovely, everyone was lovely. I got shade about not changing my name on the radio. Mick's mum, Mazza B messaged in. It all popped off. It was so good. Ian was lovely and we had a great day. Little shout out to Tambe. So he got in touch with us. He found us for this video. So yeah, we're ready now. Netflix, Dread James, Nick Grimshaw, BBC, ITV, Channel 4. Anyone. <laughs> I mean, the fans are already beeping their horns for us. Hello, yeah, thank you. Yeah, we're off the radio, yeah. Call us, we're available. <laughs> Coming to a screen or a radio station near you.